don't get wrestling, I have to say. And another reason I was so impressed by the show is that I'm definitely in the latter camp. I've, I've never quite understood it, but I'm curious, you know, for the, for the writers and the actors, was anybody already a fan of wrestling when you came to the show? Uh, Key is a wrestler. <laughs> a wrestler. We have a writer. Yeah. I think we. I mean, we approached the show knowing that we wanted both audiences, um, and knowing that we were new to it and we were learning to appreciate and learning to understand. I we mean, definitely became students. I mean, yeah. in a hardcore way. And I think like initially the stuff that made us anxious about wrestling, we just leaned further into. And I think we went like real research nerd on the whole thing. Like we just went as deep as we could go. And once we had Chavo, we just interviewed him for about three or four hours at a time just to get as much context and information. And I feel like that that helped us a lot. You know, the genius of Chavo is that when Allie and I did a, a radio show with uh, Jim Norton and Sam, um, you know, Sam, who's this wrestling fan, told Allie that he was watching, he'd been watching wrestling his whole life, and he said, if I saw any moves that happened yeah. after 1986, I would have shut the show up. <laughs> so Chavo was that intuitive and, and that historically accurate that there were other moves they could have done. But if this kid, who's a wrestling fan, had seen something, like he said he would watch moves and like, where's this going? And, 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 and it wouldn't go all the way through and he'd be like, all right, I'm still in. It's still in. it's still historically accurate. And that's where you go with Chavo, you know. We also, we also knew those people would be hard on us. I think we wanted to make a show that those people would both feel proud of because we were coming onto someone else's turf. Um, yeah, yeah you, don't we wanna, you don't want to upset those people. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I remember I was like going to Chavo and I'm like, because like to answer your question, like I, I wasn't really a wrestling fan. I, I was a fake fan back when I was like in high school because my boyfriend liked it at the time. And then, and then when I, when I booked the show, yeah. And then when I booked the show, I became a fan. But I would be like, I watch like WWE and I'd be like, on Monday Night Raw and I'd be like, oh, I want to do this move. And I'll like go on YouTube and I'll come back and I'm like, Chavo, let's do this move. And he's like, Nah, that's not 1984. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta keep it in the in the period. And I was like, what? Like, so yeah, he was very precise. Like, we really like have to get it right. And for those type of fans yeah. that are really like, uh, uh, that's 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 now. That's I not back then. I didn't realize until today that like, because I did an interview today. Like, people asked me if I was a wrestling fan, and I was I was not that kid. I, I you know I was more involved. Like, I I couldn't find any relief in comic books or wrestling. Was, I was more drawn towards cigarettes and guitar but 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 also so i'm 54. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. i'm a poet so but also like i'm 54 and I, my recollection of wrestling at that time when i grew up in albuquerque new mexico was this weird freak show that happened on sundays at the civic auditorium in albuquerque and it was just guys wearing unitards you know and, and running at each other and they had these magazines that, again just onesies with guys with bleach blonde hair and blood all over them and it was not the same as it is now like with what younger people grew up with as exciting with the whole spectacle of the wwe was just these weird dirty chubby guys <laughs> bloody and running around well and even within all of that like glow was its own separate thing and i feel like that our show is tapping into all of that stuff which is that and and much more you'll see it more in season two when they we get into like them figuring out that you know on the original glow they were doing sketches comedy sketches and songs and Terrible raps, not terrible. <laughs> terrible. Funny. Terrible. Uh, and stuff like that. And even they were sort of outcasts of wrestling at first because they were doing it their own way and they were not respected in the wrestling world, even though they all trained and, and were going full out as much as anyone. 